Hey everyone, my name is Dallin and I'm from the G2 Labs team. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through team buying. But first, here's a little bit of context. Team buying is designed to simplify the software purchasing process, empowering software selection teams to use a unified process that enables them to identify and prioritize their requirements and create and evaluate shortlists to find the best solution. By having a centralized place for your stakeholders to identify, compare, and evaluate software solutions, you can ensure your decisions are quick, efficient, and driven by G2's industry-leading data. With that being said, G2 is excited to announce the launch of a team buying beta program. This program is made for project managers, software consultants, and others whose role it is to help clients find, evaluate, and recommend software solutions. We're looking for these users to get in and stress test the feature, use it for their real work, and let us know their honest feedback to help us continuously improve the feature. In return, you get access to this awesome feature and receive a $20 gift card for your feedback. Seems like a win-win, right? Spots are limited, so head down to the video description now to jump into the team buying beta today. All right, so we've just created a new project and are now inside the team buying feature and ready to get started. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will be taking on the role of a project manager who is working with a large business client to help them identify and purchase the right marketing automation solution for their use case. The first thing I'm gonna do is navigate over to the team tab. Here is where you can get people in to the platform, whether that's key stakeholders or working colleagues, to have them collaborate on the team buying experience. So I head over to the invite your team tab. You will see that you can invite people by email, but also by sharing a link if you're looking to share with a large team, maybe in Slack or over an email. So you can see that I've already got Tim populated in here. And so I will head back over to the recommender tab to get us started. After we get our team on the platform, it's time to build some context. In order for the team buying feature to help recommend software, we need to give a project overview analysis to ensure everyone is aligned on the purpose of the project. So if I click in, you will see that we can navigate to the industry. This client I'm working with is in cybersecurity. They have 750 employees, a budget of $100,000, and they're looking to make a decision at the end of June. So I can go ahead, navigate there and hit submit. And all of that is now saved for the entire team to see. Once we do this, we'll head down to the bottom left and you'll see three tabs that help provide even more context. The first is current solutions. For the purpose of this demo, I will leave this blank, but if you're switching over from a different platform, you'd insert that here. Also, you can add reasons for switching from that platform, the problems you're trying to solve, and down here, your fourth tab are possible solutions. My client specifically is looking to replace a number of low budget, siloed marketing tools that they use for email marketing, social media, CRM management, and more that worked well when they were smaller, but have since outgrown. This brings about an obvious need is the company is looking to scale their marketing program with a comprehensive unified solution. This will help my client enhance their marketing automation and transactional email library, up-level their lead generation process, and continue to push forward towards segmented nurture tracks and funnels to build awareness and purchasing intent with targeted content. Let me insert those requirements here. As you can see, I filled in those three problems that I documented earlier, and we're already starting to see some recommendations. Lastly, I we'll wanna call out any possible solutions that we know of on the market in the industry that we're looking for specifically. As a project manager, I know of a couple big players in the marketing automation space. The first is HubSpot Marketing Hub. I will go ahead and add that here. And the second is Active Campaign. This will ensure that these populate automatically up here in the recommendations tab, and I can easily add those to my list. Now you can see that both of these tools have been added up in the top left as possible solutions. Now that we've added some context to the project, it's time to determine our firm's requirements to help identify a short list of software finalists. We have already identified three big areas of focus for the team, 
And as I navigate over to requirements, you will see these three have been brought over directly to this tab. But now it's time for your team to meet to align on any other requirements necessary in your search. In this scenario, let's say we met and came to an agreement that these three requirements were awesome and needed to be included, but we also wanted to add two more. The first, smooth integration and syncing with our primary sales CRM. And the second, the ability for large quantities of user provisioning to avoid a massive per user price hike. I will go ahead and add those custom settings in now. As you can see, we now have our five requirements documented directly in here. But if you're unsure on specific requirements, G2 has built out hundreds of pre-existing templates that you can go ahead and list directly through our suggestions and our search functionality. For now, I'll go ahead and cancel that out. Once these requirements are finalized, it's time to prioritize these items based on our individual importance. Every stakeholder will have different priorities, different working styles, and different tools that mean more to them. So everyone will have the chance to share their opinions and the opportunity to prioritize their requirements. For this demo, I will show you the way that one team member would prioritize their requirements. For example, having an integration directly with our sales CRM ensures one source of truth that is really important to this user as a marketing ops member. So I will mark this as five on the priority list. However, email marketing is not a big part of the workload for this user. So advanced segmentation for nurturing and lead funnels is not very important to this specific user. So I'll go ahead and mark it as a three. As I go ahead and fill out the rest of the priority list, you will see that the group priority starts to populate on the right side of the tab. This is an aggregation of all of your requirements ranked in priority by each team member individually. After individually prioritizing the requirements, it's important to take a macro view at the rest of the team to see what their priorities are. You can hover over the group priority here on the right side in order to look and see the individual priority scores given for each of these key features. You can see specifically here that Tim is way more focused on segmentation options for nurture tracks and lead funnels when compared to me. We're looking very similar for the lead generation process. And overall, this offers you the ability to not only judge by your priorities, but also take a look at the group, what they've decided to determine a macro level priority that will help you create an aligned approach to identifying your next software piece that you will bring on. Once we meet and have alignment on our group priority after everyone has come in and given their requirements, it's time to navigate back over to the recommender tab. This will start showing a strong recommendation for various other products you can add to your short list. This is based on the problems that you're trying to solve, your budget, and the requirements and the various levels given to those. As a result, you can start to see many platforms prioritized and recommended to you here. However, for the purpose of this, I will also show you how to manually add products that you might consider or have heard about before. Let's go ahead and add Adobe Marketo. It's very easy to just hop in, hit add and go. I will also go ahead and add Salesforce Marketing Cloud as well as MailChimp. And those will be our five finalists for the shortlist. However, if there were additional solutions that you were looking for, it's easy to take a look and add additional items to your list here. Let's say that these five solutions are the five that we want to stick to evaluating today. After we've determined our shortlist, let's see how team buying can help you research and rate the shortlisted products based on your specific requirements. I'll go over to rate products next. Now that we've added some context and determined software finalists, it's time to evaluate them to find our client's best fit. Although a project manager might typically abstain from giving their thoughts on these solutions, for the purpose of the demo, I'll walk through the research and rating process for an individual. Also, one helpful tip that I would recommend is checking out the individual listings for each of your shortlist items. If I open up HubSpot Marketing Hub, you can see many different important aspects for you to consider. The first would be user reviews to check out how people in actuality have enjoyed using the software. You can also go ahead and contact HubSpot Marketing Hub here to get in touch with a salesperson, or you can go ahead and get started or check out their website down here. 
All of this will help you build context and become more educated for the evaluation process. I'll go ahead and navigate back over to team buying and we can continue on with our rating. In this tab, you'll find each of our five solutions listed here. If I open up the rate feature, you will see each of the five requirements that we've listed previously are now able to be ranked from one being not a fit and five being a strong fit. I will go ahead now and start to fill out the evaluations for each of the five finalists. Also, just one final disclaimer that these ratings are purely developed for demo purposes and do not reflect real opinions on these solutions. However, you can see that both myself and Tim in this scenario have walked through the rating process and you will be able to see both my rating as well as, well as the aggregate review score on the right. And we can get even more granular if we go into the results tab and you can see a lot more detailed view comparing and contrasting all five of our shortlist finalists. In this hypothetical scenario, we've determined that HubSpot's marketing hub is the ideal choice for a client's company to enhance and streamline their marketing automation process. As demonstrated, team buying simplifies the process of discovering software solutions, consolidating team evaluations, and identifying the perfect fit for you and your team all within a centralized location. If you are eager to explore the benefits of team buying, don't forget to click the link in the description to register for our free beta today. Thank you for watching, and we hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.